this video, we're going to be breaking down what I believe to be one of the best and most underrated variations of the 4-3 even 6-1 defense, specifically a blitzing concept that a lot of people are sleeping on that has been really, really, really good this year at a 6-1. Most people don't even know about it, uh, but it is a very, very, very powerful uh, way to utilize this defense. And if you guys want to check out my entire 4-3 even 6-1 defensive ebook, that is going to be on our new website, school.com slash Cody Bauer. Now, that website is going to be the home for not only all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, but also for my NCAA offensive and de defensive ebooks. And it's only $10 to become a member. So if you want to take your game to the next level on either one of those uh, games, we're going to have a ton of content this year for both of those games. And we already have a ton of content up there for Madden. And when NCAA drops, we're going to be dropping a ton of stuff. So if you want to check that out, link is going to be in the description. And like I said, I wanted to go over a really cool way to run this defense that a lot of people don't really know about. So if we were running, let's say, like a drop eight Mabel coverage, one of the best things about 6-1 is that if you pinch crash down like this, so I'm going to pinch my D-line and I'm going to crash them down, I'm going to stand about right here, I can get a disengage with this defensive end. You'll see really clearly here, like, you get a really good four-man rush. Okay, really, really good. So a couple things. 6-1, one, one of the best defenses in the game for keeping mobile quarterbacks inside the pocket, which is what we're going to show you with this blitz. The problem with this pinch crash down blitz is let's say that I send this D, this linebacker on the left side. A lot of times, you know, this is really not going to get anybody clean. It's not going to be any better than the send four. Whereas if I send five, if I send five from a look like this, for example, oftentimes I'm going to get super crazy, glitchy, B-gap pressure, as you see right there. Okay. So, unfortunately, you get the best sheds out of this defense by pinching your D-line, but you don't get really good pressure, and this is the, the problem. Your send five is really not that great if you run it kind of the standard way that people run it. So you, while you have a send four, it's a little bit of a dead giveaway that you're only sending four. They could put route combos on based off what they think you're sending from a pressure perspective. Now, sometimes the send four is that good, and a lot of people really, I think, um, I don't know. I, I just wonder maybe if it's just because, like, John Beast isn't doing this anymore. I don't know. But if you go back and watch Madden Bowl, like, when John Beast wanted to send a pressure, he spread his D-line. When he wanted to play coverage, he pinched his D-line. Well... What if I told you that you could get really good pressure from pinching your D-line out of 6-1? The way that you're going to do this is you're going to pinch your defensive line. You're going to crash your defensive line to the running back side of the formation. So in this case, we're going to crash our D-line to the left, and we're going to blitz this guy on the left, and we're just going to keep it contained. So you see, this is what it looks like. Now, I know it looks a little wonky, but our primary job is to pull the center to the right side of the screen. What you're going to see is this five-man. We're going to get a super fast edge rush, as you see right there. Super, super fast edge rush. So this is actually kind of similar to 335 Cub in terms of how this is going to work. And you'll see here, super fast. I mean, that is the screaming off the edge. So how are they going to block this? Well, the main way that they're going to block this blitz, or way most people are going to try to block this blitz, is through the utilization of a blocked running back. And so what you'll see here is sometimes this contain can go around it. He didn't right there. Sometimes that contain can actually loop around the running back. A little bit of dependent, a little bit more um, likely in an actual game. But a lot of times this can actually loop around the running back. It's hard for the running back to pick this up. Okay. So that's one thing that you have going for you. Now the other thing is let's say they block running back. Um, all you have to do is just blitz the other linebacker. So you see here we're containing, we blitz out of the linebacker, and you see here we're getting that B-gap pressure, we're getting really good. Now the Sun 6 is not is not uh, unbelievable, uh, Sun 6, right? It's just not. But the Sun 5 is really good. It really is. A really good Sun 5 from this look. It's going to be hard for – I don't think you really need to send six, honestly, if you can get this send five down. Because this send five, a lot of times that running back won't actually block him in game. And so it, it just makes the blitz really pretty decent. Now, 
another thing I wanted to touch on is the block is a block tight end because let's say you're playing somebody that's running more of a standard bunch and they're blocking their tight end on you. So we'll cover that real quick. So pinch D line crash left. What you see here. And you're just going to try to pull the center to the right side. See how the block tight end doesn't do anything? Because you're blitzing away from where they're blocking. So it's kind of more similar to like what the 3-3 three, three Cub was. Now, if I send five from this look, this is interesting. But if I send five like this and I block a tight end, this is one of the best ways to pick up the edge pressure. The problem is occasionally you get that disengage of the A-gap, which is really, really good, of course. You know, but but this allows you now to say, okay, well, I want to play a little bit more of a shed-based version of this defense, and these sheds are insane when you pinch crash down. As you see, we're getting disengages all left and right. It's really the best send four in the game is out of this. This is also the best send three in the game. If you want to send three here, you know, we just blitz our user, and if you take a look here, this is a send three with a vert hook, but this disengages, as you see right there, Gets it straight up disengaged very easy. So, you know, you don't have to send a lot of pressure to get good pressure from this look. And I think that's one of the things that makes this defense super good. You know, if they block the running back here to the right side, you see we get kind of got kind of got uh, nano detected. But oftentimes this pressure is going to come in super clean and super good. You don't have to contain either, I'm pretty sure. So if you don't want to contain, he'll still come in, as you see. So that could be, you know, there could be some reasons to that. The contain is obviously going to help you a lot with, uh, con you know, containing the mobile quarterbacks that are super taken over this game. There you saw, like, kind of the looping kind of 4-3 uh, or the looping possibility that we have with this defense. So, anyway, this is a really, really good blitz. A lot of people are kind of sleeping on this because you can run it from a pinch D line, which allows you to stop the run better. It allows you to get better sheds. There's a lot of advantages to a pinch D line. So I wanted to drop this little blitz concept for you. If you want to get my entire defensive system and defensive ebook, make sure you join the school site, school.com slash Cody Ballard, for all of my Madden and NCAA offensive and defensive ebooks. The site updates all the time. We're always updating it with the most, uh, with the best stuff. So if you want to get access to that stuff, again, as soon as we're always on top of things, as soon as you know we find stuff, it's posted on there for you and in a nice format that you can kind of easily digest it. So school, I'm super excited with school. I like the way the website is laid out. If you want to sign up for that, link is going to be in the description below.